Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the Dominic Greco Band under the direction of Frederick Delphia. And would you now please stand and join Ron Barquette in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the Gentlemen, my name is Michael Roberts. I am an on-air personality at WJER Radio. It's great to be back with you. I'm filling in for Gary Petracola. You know, last year I filled in a couple of times and we dealt with rain, and Mr. Delphia started calling me Rain Man. So 
Hopefully, the beautiful night we're having redeems what happened last year. We'll see what happens there. But we do welcome you to our second summer showcase here at beautiful Tuscora Park by the Dominic Greco Band. We are excited to present a concert this evening with a truly different flavor from most of our programs. This musical treat is titled Strike Up the Band. Our program will feature 10 directors, each conducting one of their very favorite band compositions. We always try to make our concerts enjoyable to our concert audiences, and this evening will be no exception to that thought. We began our concert appropriately with George Gershwin's Strike Up the Band. Now, we will be telling you a little bit about each conductor and the interesting stories behind the music they have selected. Well, of course, we begin first with a gentleman that we are all familiar with. I tend to like to call him the man, the myth, the directing legend. He is our director, Fred Delphia. Mr. Delphia, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Mr. Delphia is a graduate of Steubenville High School. After high school, he attended the Navy School of Music in Washington, D.C., and served four years in Navy bands in the Mediterranean and Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He graduated from Ohio University with a bachelor's degree in education and the University of Akron with a master's degree in music supervision. He was band and choir director in Milan, Ohio for two years. Dover High School band director 15 years, assistant high school principal eight years, and principal for 10 years. He was also an Ohio Music Education Association adjudicator for over 30 years. Mr. Delphia is also a member of Phi Beta Mu, International Bra Band Masters Fraternity. It is an honorary fraternity for band directors designed to honor outstanding band directors at the state level. Well, Mr. Delphia has chosen a wonderful and difficult overture by Ludwig von Beethoven. Beethoven struggled to produce an appropriate overture for his opera, Fidelio, Leonora No. 3. The latter overture is considered by many listeners as the greatest of the three overtures. The overture tells the essence of the story. It begins in the darkness of the prison cell where the hero, Floriston, has been sent unjustly. Floriston remembers brighter days and the music, ignited by his hope, is filled with fire and action. The distant trumpet call of the tower guard announces Floriston's reprieve. Beethoven then treats us to a full-scale, symphonic, utterly heroic finale. This version of Leonora is no doubt the most popular. So now, under the baton of Frederick Delphia, the Dominic Greco Band presents Beethoven's Leonora, Overture Number 3.
perfect solo there. Well, our first guest conductor this evening uh, is well known throughout the county and state. Cheryl Ann Graham is the former director of bands at New Philadelphia and Ridgewood High Schools. Currently, Cheryl teaches K through five vocal music. She is the co-director with her husband, Bill, of the Big Bad Bodacious Brass Band. She also plays French horn in the Kent Stark Band and adjudicates all areas of marching band as well as large group and solo ensemble events. Cheryl is a graduate of Valley Forge High School, Muskingum College, and the University of Akron. In 2004, she was selected as the Outstanding Alumnus of the University of Akron's Music Department. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse now, Cheryl excuse me, has selected a composition by John Barnes <laughs> No, we didn't. We're not here yet. As a professional percussionist, John started Sorry, writing that. music, exploring all venues of percussion <laughs> sounds. Unfortunately, his career as a composer was cut short at the age of 40, as he was accidentally electrocuted while assembling a tent in his backyard. Incantation and dance consists of two sections highly contrasted in both length and nature. The incantation is a short, mournful, legato melody. It is full of mystery and expectation. The dance also begins quietly, but percussion instruments quickly enter one by one, building a rhythmic pattern of incredible complexity and drive. The piece gathers force as the entire ensemble draws together for a dramatic and exciting conclusion. This is Cheryl Ann Graham conducting Incantation and Dance.
those of you just arriving, this is the Dominic Greco Band under the direction of Frederick Delphia. And this is our third performance of our 2014 summer concert season. Our theme for this evening is Strike Up the Band, featuring 10 directors in the band directing one of their favorite compositions. Our next selection is based on the 1876 Philip Bliss Horatio Spafford hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. Spafford, a Chicago Presbyterian layman and successful businessman, planned a European trip for his family in 1873. Due to last minute business developments, he had to remain in Chicago, but he sent his wife and four daughters as scheduled aboard a ship to cross the Atlantic, expecting to follow them in a few days. Well, the ship was struck by an English vessel and sank in 12 minutes. Several days later, the survivors were finally landed in Wales, and Mrs. Spafford cabled her husband, saved alone. It is speculated that when Spafford followed his wife on the sea, where it was thought his four daughters had drowned, Spafford wrote this text with words so significantly describing his own personal grief. Hymn writer Philip Bliss was so impressed with the depth of faith in Spafford's text that he wrote the music for it, first published in, in 1876. Well, directing this piece is Micah Carrick, Micah is a graduate of West Holmes High School and earned his Bachelor's of Music Education from the Baldwin Wallace College Conservatory of Music. He just completed his 13th year on the band staff at Dover, where he is the director of 5th through 8th grade bands and assistant high school director. The Dominic Greco Band, under the direction of Micah Carrick, presents on a hymn song of Philip Bliss.
collection. And what a great story behind it as well. Again, Micah Carrick directing the Dominic Greco Band. Well, our next guest conductor is Roger Wheeler. Roger is a graduate of St. Paul High School in Norwalk. He attended Ohio University and earned his BA from Kearney State College in Nebraska and an MA from the University of Iowa. He was band director for six years at Clear Creek High School in Iowa and 31 years as band director at West Holm Schools in Millersburg. Now Roger's selection is an exciting musical tour of Mexico. It is based on folk dance melodies from various, or excuse me, various provinces in, I should say, Mexico. I took four years of Spanish, so I should be able to say this right. The setting utilizes many of the tone colors available to the modern symphonic band. We will perform just one of the three dances, that being El Pitayeri, or the Little Whistler, which comes from the folk dance literature of Holistico which is one of the federal states of Mexico. So now, this is Roger Wheeler conducting the first of Tres Danzas de Mexico. <laughs> graduated from Maslin Washington High School in 1978 and from the University of Akron in 1983 with degrees in music education and percussion performance. She began her teaching career in the New Philadelphia City Schools and in 1990 joined the Dover Band staff. She is recently retired from the Dover City Schools after 23 years of service, but remains active in the band program as a percussion specialist and the director of the Dover High School Steel Band. 
Well, Percy Granger considered folk singers the kings and queens of song, lords in their own domain. It was for wind band that Granger made some of his most memorable song settings, several of which are now cornerstones of band repertoire. Ye Banks and Braes, O Bonnie Doon, is a slow, sustained Scottish folk tune with thoughts about betrayal and love and its painful aftermath. Granger's original setting of this was done in 1901 for men's chorus and whistlers, and the present version for band was published in 1901. This is Joan Wenzel now conducting Ye Banks and Braes, O Bonnie Doon. is the assistant director of the Dominic Greco Band. Steve Stroop is a graduate of Summers High School in the state of New York. He received his bachelor in music education from the University of Colorado in Boulder. He completed 34 years of teaching, retiring in 2010. Most recently, he was the band director at Dover High School for 24 years. Previous to coming to Dover, he taught at Green High School, Strasburg High School, McKinley High School, and Lakewood Junior High in Lakewood, Colorado. Mr. Stroop served as state president for the Ohio Music Education Association from 2002 to 2004, which boasts over 5,000 active music teachers and collegiate members. Steve is an accomplished horn player and has been a member of local orchestras and bands for over 30 years. 
He is principal horn of the Tuscarawas Philharmonic Orchestra, as well as the Dominic Greco Band. Now, Mr. Stroop has chosen a wonderful march. When the Footlifter was written in 1929 by Henry Fillmore, the United States was in a major depression. At the same time, as a result of their popular concerts and radio broadcasts, the Fillmore Band was already well established as one of the top musical groups in Cincinnati. One night, after listening to one of the band's broadcasts, the president of the company, sponsoring the radio broadcast, asked Henry to compose a march that could be tied into the company's advertising slogan. So, Henry completed the march four days later, and when the president of the agency heard the new piece, he told Fillmore that it was certainly a footlifter. That became the very appropriate name for this classic Fillmore march. Under the direction of Steve Stroop, this is the Footlifter March. You know, this is my favorite time of the year. I love summertime, love being able to go outside without a jacket, right? But there is something about the crisp autumn air and the subtle change in light during the month of October that can make the fall season uh, very sentimental. Eric Whitaker portrays that same quiet beauty in the writing of this next piece. The simple melodies and uh, subsequent harmonies are perfectly suited to capture the natural and pastoral soul of the season. October by Eric Whitaker is conducted tonight by Union Local Band Director April Leinard. 
April is a 2000 graduate of Claymont High School, a 2005 graduate of Malone University, and is currently completing her master's degree in music education at Kent State University. She is currently in her eighth year as band and drama director at Union Local Schools in Belmont, Ohio. And incidentally, April will be playing a trumpet solo on our Tribute to America concert, so make sure you come back for that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is October.
talk of October and fall makes me ready for football season. Uh, never mind. I'm, I still want summer. All right, let's take a moment now to announce the schedule for the remainder of the season. After our Tribute to America concert, we will perform at the Fire Station Pavilion at Sugar Creek on Saturday, July 19th at 7 p.m. Following that performance on Saturday, August 9th at 7 p.m., we will once again present a concert at the annual Italian American Festival in downtown Dover. Our season finale will be right back here at Tuscora Park on Friday, August 15th, beginning at 7 p.m. We will talk about our upcoming Tribute to America concert a little later in the program. And also, by the way, if you have not received one of our schedules, we have them available at the table down front over here. All right, let's change pace just a little bit and bring out our great vocalist, Ron Barquette, stage front. He's coming, here he is. He's coming. All right, of course, Ron is a graduate of Dover High School and Baldwin Wallace Conservatory of Music. He is the director of music at the First United Methodist Church at Dover. Ron has been a featured soloist with orchestras throughout the state of Ohio. Porgy and Bess, an opera written by George Gershwin, is the one American opera to become fully established in the international opera repertory. Its tunes have become standards for jazz improvisation, and Summertime has achieved the status of a folk song. Another tune to receive that same status is our next selection. From the opera Porgy and Bess, this is Ron Barquet singing, I Got Plenty of Nuttin'. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got no car, I got no mule, I got no misery. The folks with plenty of plenty. Got a lock on the door. Brain, somebody's gonna go in and rob father out there making more. What for? <coughs> I got no lock on the door. That's no way to be. They can steal the rug from the floor. That's okay with me, cause the things that I prize, like the stars in the sky, are free. Oh, I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got my gal, got my song, got heaven to hold along. No use complaining, got my gal, got my lord. I got plenty of nothing, and nothing's plenty for me. I got the sun, got the moon, got the deep blue sea. The folks with plenty of plenty. Gotta pray all the day Seems with many You sure gotta worry How to keep the devil away Away I ain't a friend about hell Till the time arrive Never worry long as I'm well Never one to strive to be good To be bad What the hell I got my song, got heaven to hold it long. No use complaining. Got my God, got my Lord, got my song. Ron Barquette, everyone. All right, our next guest director is Jonathan Stuck. 
He is currently a band director in the Indian Valley Local School District. He is a graduate of the Conservatory of Music at Capital University and Maslin Washington High School. Jonathan is actively involved in the Ohio Music Education Association and the International Tuba and Euphonium Association. He has also performed with various groups in Stark and Tuscarawas counties and is the bell choir director for St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Maslin, Ohio. Well, the first suite in E-flat for military band by the British composer Gustav Holst is considered one of the cornerstone masterworks in the concert band repertoire. The first suite was the catalyzing force that convinced many other prominent composers that serious music could be written specifically for the combination of woodwinds, percussion, and brass. Well, Jonathan has chosen the final movement, the march. It opens with a famous bass drum solo, one of the few in the band literature. It features two primary melodies, both very contrasting in style. The first melody spotlights exclusively in the brass section, and the second melody is scored in the mid and low woodwinds.